last method which is not a new method to you you have done this in your childhood days also which is called the contradiction method ayyo <laughs> do you remember that real number chapter you had in cbsc class 10 prove that root 2 is irrational amazing I prove that root 2 is irrational so how does it work in this case when you are proving a statement if uh, then statement to be true by using contradiction method the approach that we use is we first assume that p is false and q is true so what do we assume p is false and q is true or we can say p is true and q is false why have i chosen mm -hmm. this actually in contradiction And then, and then you contradict yourself. See, this was the only condition when your if-then statement was false, right? Remember the truth. Mm, yeah. Husband gets a promotion, doesn't take his wife for the foreign trip, for the Singapore mm. trip. This was the only situation when your if was false, isn't it? Yes, sir. So I've assumed that let Q be Q and Q be false. That means I have assumed that this is false. Okay. and then i reach a contradiction step or you can say contradictory step that means this is not true that means this is happening that means negation of false is happening let me write it false that means your statement will become true are you getting my point So again, I mean, again, I'm repeating the process involved. First, you assume that P is true and Q is false. By assuming that, you are indirectly assuming that your given if-then statement is false. And when you contradict that, means your if-then statement becomes true. Simple as that. And hence, we prove that this is true. Yes or no? Okay. Yes, sir. Might be. Eh? Don't give such a cold response. What is what is uh, not clear in this asking? Which is uh, bandwidth is not matching. One second. Bandwidth is not matching. If P is true and Q is false, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fine, got it, sir. Can you do the the same question which I had given? Let's say I start with this guy. Okay, let me give you another question on this. let's see whether you are able to do that <clears throat> yeah question is if x cube plus 4x is 0 where x is your real number then x is 0 validate this by all the three methods direct method contra positive method and contradiction method but first start with contradiction so that we have understood how that method works so is there a method called solving method no no Okay, sir. So then you'll come to x square plus four, which is uh, that complex thing. But then you're given the condition for it. Do it at your end. Then we'll discuss it. Yes, sir. I've done it. Not sure if it's right or not. Yes, sir. Can we discuss now, sir? Yes, sir. I did something. I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. So we'll start with contradiction method because we haven't done this yet. Okay. So in contradiction method, what were the steps? So first we'll assume p. Is true. So this is your p by the way, and this is your q. False. It's better to write them very very clearly in the exam. P and this is your q. So in contradiction method, we we'll say let p be true. And but q be false and q be false and yeah correct you should use but to know that means you're saying this guy is zero 
and this guy is not zero right yes sir yeah that means you are saying x into x, x into x square plus 4 equal to 0 and since since this guy is not equal to 0, this guy should be equal to 0. Now we know that. Now we know that. If x, x not equal to 0. Real number, x square plus 4 will always be a positive quantity. Isn't it? Yes, sir. That means if the product of x with a positive quantity is 0, that means only x could be 0. And this guy is still saying x is not 0. Isn't this a contradiction? At one place you are saying x is 0. And at other place you are saying x is not 0. Yes, sir. It means my assumption implies assumption A itself false. Okay. Correct. That is that is P implies Q is true. Isn't it? Yeah. Because assumption A yes, that P implies Q is false. And you have proved that false itself is false, means it is true. Negation of a false negation. itself is false. Yeah, so basically what you are saying. Oh. Yeah. So you are saying negation of a false, right? Yeah. So not false means it is true. Yes, sir. Right. Now, can we discuss direct method and contra positive method as well? Are you done with that or do you want some time? Sometimes, sir. Okay, do direct method now. So this is done. So this is what this is what I meant by saying uh, solving method. Huh. Basic solving you have to do. Yes, sir. Sir, contra positive done. What do you were doing? Ah, uh, no, sir, no, sir. Do it anyways. Okay, uh, con let's try dry right now. I mean, I didn't write anything for contra positive, I just thought of it. Guys, are we ready to do it with uh, direct method? Sir, could you just scroll up to the direct method page one second? Okay, direct method is assume P is true and then prove Q is also true. Uh, done, sir. Chalo, we'll, we'll discuss direct method now. In direct method, what do we say? Let P be true. That means let x cube plus 4x be equal to 0. Again, same thing. That means you are saying this is equal to 0. But since this is always positive, this always leads to x equal to 0. That means P is, and that means Q is true. So by assuming P is true, you have proved that Q is true. Therefore, this. If P, then Q is also true. Done. Simplest. Okay. Next is the contra positive method. Contra positive method. So, what do we do in this case? We'll say let Q be false. Yeah, let X not equal to 0. That is, you're saying not Q be true. That means you are saying x is not equal to 0. Okay. So now. That means x is either positive or negative. No. Oh, okay. Yes. Now. This can be written as this. Okay. So if x is positive. Then. X into x square plus 4 will also be positive. Because this guy is always positive. Okay. And if x is negative, then x into x square plus 4 will always be negative. Either of them implies that this term will not be 0. Yes, sir. That means you have proved that p is false. That is, you have proved negation p is true. Right? And hence, we can say negation p, negation q implies negation p is true, which further implies yes, that this is true because they are both equivalent statements by the contra positive approach. 
Is that fine? Yes, sir. Now we'll do some problem solving on uh, the type of questions that we'll be getting in the exam. Yes, sir. Let's go to the first three questions. Uh, mm. D. First one. Hmm. Are we ready with the answer? Yes, sir. Which New Delhi is a city which is following is not a situation of T. D, D, D. D for Delhi. All of them are negation of P, right? So this is also yes, sir. the right answer is one of these. Because they're asking not a negation of P. Yes, sir. Is that fine? Yes, sir. If P is a statement, then which of the following is a tautology? A is a tautology. A is a policy. Uh, one, one second, sir. One second. My stand broke. F means a statement which is false. Okay, this is. Oh, okay, sir. One second. C. Uh, no, 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 none of these. Is this a tautology? No, right? No, sir. This is a tautology? No. No. Is this a tautology? If F is false, then uh, false or false, which is bad. It's not a tautology. It if P is false, sorry. Correct? Sir? It depends upon what is P, right? Yeah. If P is false, it will be false, the entire thing. Correct. So it depends upon P here. So this also, so option D will be correct, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's skip the third one and we'll move on to the next. Uh, third one is C, by the way. Correct. Which of the following statement is true? If each of the following statements is true, then what have they written here? Some some mistake is there. Some printing mistakes seems to be right. Uh, wait, sir. I don't know. P means not Q. Okay. Like I, I didn't even get that. So uh, just leave these two. I think some printing mistake. Let's go to the sixth one. Equal means it is a tautology. tautology. Uh, P and true and false. No. Is this a tautology? Sir, C, sir. No, sir. No, sir. What about this? P. No, sir. It's a tautology. So it's a C. Is it a tautology? Q. P implies Q is equal. No, 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 not P. Uh, D, sorry. D. D. D is correct. Yes, sir. Basically, this is the this is the contra positive. Contra positive. Yeah. Next. Seventh one. E if and Q are odds. Uh, P plus Q. So B. If both P and Q are false, intersection cannot be true, so this is wrong. Union can be false. False, right? Yes, sir. This is correct. Hmm. Okay. 
say multi choice or single choice let's see it may be multi also never know j advance as this chapter no the the j advance is asked but this may actually include circles okay okay all in by small this is true so this is also true yes sir correct so b yeah. damn bro <laughs> both we can see no no gone okay yeah same thing uh we can do nine p is true q is false which of the following is not true yeah mm, p or a And B. This false. This is hmm. false. That one no. That one no. This is basically the negation of this guy, so this cannot be the answer. This is a this is a tautology, right? Yeah. So this cannot be an answer. So A and B are correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Let's complete this exercise so that. Okay, sir. Which one you want? Ten verse. What's it? Ninth we did, na? Ten. Let's do ten. Tenth we did. P is false. Q is true. Then this is true is wrong. No. This is false. Uh, wait, wait. Wrong. Yeah. This. No, no, no. This mm -hmm. must be not. Mm, yeah, oh, it must be. So D. So 10 D. Next. Three. Wait, sir. Wait, sir. P implies Q is true. How, sir? How P implies Q is true? Husband didn't get a promotion. Ah, oh, okay. Still took his wife for the foreign trip. Good husband, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Next. Converse of the converse of the statement P. Oh, this one. Okay. What is that converse? Sir, finding contrapositive is similar to reflection about origin. I just realized. With the two, two steps in one. What is the answer for the eleventh one? Vidyata and Advaita. Converse of this. Hey, while I was explaining, I told you, you know what is the converse? Converse is ulta. See. See. This is called. Yes, sir. This is called contrapositive. Contrapositive. It's called inverse. Hmm. Yes, sir. Next. Contrapositive. I want to. The Dutta and Adutta. Both please write down, or we can speak up also. In fact, let when that you also write down, because then nobody will get influenced. Okay, sir. Twelfth one, right? Twelfth one, yeah. Correct. A. This is the point of one. Ah, uh, by the way, when you are writing, write as the question number and your answer, so that I know which one you are answering. Okay, sir. Next, which of the following is logical negation or negation P implies P? One second, sir. Okay, we will talk. Put it down. Let's wait for uh, others to answer. Hmm. One second, sir. Abhita, what about you? 
One sec, sir, please. Sir, is it C? Oh, sh sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't. I shouldn't have said that. Sir, Agneta, discuss correct. Let's discuss. So, let me draw P Q and P implies Q, and then finally we have negation of negation P implies Q. Okay. So true, true. So false, true is a good husband. So this will be false. Then true, false. This will be false, false, then true, then false. Then you have uh, false, true. Uh, that means it's true, true, will be true, and this will be false. And false, false means this will be false, that will be true. Okay. Now, this is the truth table of which of the following? True, true, false doesn't give me so it doesn't give me. Let's see P and not Q. So true, false, false. Yes. True, true, false. This cannot be answer. Yes, sir. Now so if A is not the answer, why will D be the answer? Sorry? A is not the answer. Why will D be the answer? What do you mean by that? Contra positive, right? Not a contra positive. Contra positive is not Q implies not P. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is not a con This is a and symbol in between. Okay. Now, not P means false, true. False, true will give you a false. So this is matching. Or uh, true, true should give you a true, but there's a false over here. So C also cannot be the option. Now, false and false is false. That is matching. True and false is false and true. That is matching. True and false, false is again matching. This is matching. So D is the option actually. Clear? Do, I, do you want me to do it separately in some different page or is it understood from here? Understood, sir.